Entity resolution is the task of resolving mentions to their unique underlying entities. This is commonly done through the usage of an entity linker, a supervised model that links mentions to a fixed set of entities. While these models have improved considerably in terms of performance over the past few years, they are limited in that they can only resolve mentions of entities that are known ahead of time, and thus fail as mentions of new entities begin to appear in text. In this work, we investigate whether entity linkers can be modified to resolve mentions of entities that are not known ahead of time. The main idea of our approach is to discard the pre-specified collection of entities and their learned representations, and instead feed encoded mentions into a hierarchical agglomerative clustering algorithm to recover entity clusters. Our hope is that the resulting cluster tree will not only group mentions referring to the same entity, but also that type information about the entities will be captured in higher and lower levels of the cluster tree. We perform experiments using an entity linking model called RELIC, which is pre-trained on Wikipedia to resolve mentions of medical concepts in the MedMentions corpus, a corpus of annotated biomedical paper abstracts that are linked to the UMLS ontology. We evaluate the quality of the resulting cluster tree using dendrogram purity, which roughly speaking measures the fraction of subtrees whose leaves all belong to the same cluster. Our results show that our approach works surprisingly well out of the box for detecting entity clusters. However, it does not do as good of a job capturing types of mentions according to the UMLS ontology. We perform additional experiments fine-tuning the mention encoder on a set of held out data to predict UMLS entities and types and find that while this can improve our ability to capture type structure, it has an overall detrimental effect on our ability to cluster entities. We additionally investigate methods to produce flat clustering of mentions from the cluster tree. The first approach we use is to employ a similarity threshold or a height at which to cut the tree into subtrees. We identify this by measuring the B-cubed score for various thresholds on a tree constructed from a set of held out data and use the threshold which maximizes this score. The second approach we use is to train a simple neural classifier to predict perfect precision cut points, or the minimal set of nodes at which to cut the trees so that no mentions of different entities end up in the same cluster. We observe that both approaches beat a simple baseline of clustering using the predicted labels from the linker. And additionally, we observe that the model-based approach outperforms the threshold approach, mainly due to increased precision. In summary, although this is ongoing work, our initial results for entity resolution are promising so far. There are plenty of reasonable approaches we intend to pursue before publication for improving fine-tuning, including using pairwise max margin losses, and similarly, we also plan to look into more sophisticated approaches for tree cutting, such as using a tree LSTM or CRF in place of the independent MLP model that we showed. We look forward to seeing you during the poster session. Thanks.